two, three. Burning the midnight oil, amongst other things. Have you slept? Not really. Do the dishes? I guess I forgot. Leave the house? Nah. Anything happen at all? S some guy called. About? S something. Said he called back. What? I don't remember. Thanks for the message. You're welcome. You got a call from a guy today. About what? An opening across town. Really? It's not glamorous, but it's a job. Doing what? Night watchman. Sit around, surf the internet, take a look about every once in a while. Watching TV? Yeah, I told him you're good at that. How would I get there? I'll drive you over in the evening and take the bus back. Is there an exam? You fake it. Once you're in, they don't care. What about my record? Use my numbers, Moonlight. Come on, try it for me. What do we want to do for dinner? We? Yeah, you and me. You gonna buy? Exactly, what am I gonna do for dinner? You don't have to be such a dick, man. You don't gotta lay around all day, man. Fuck you. Fuck me. I take you in when nobody else will. Am my brother's keeper. And fuck me. So, taco hell? You go there entirely too much. Quit trying to change the subject. Mickey D's? Not that depressed. Pizza slut? Not that hungry. Sub slop? I could do that. Hello? Yeah, I can move it. Yeah, let me talk to my guy. All right. Where have you been? Out. With who? Friends. Doing what? Having fun. Where'd you get those earrings? They were a gift. From who? My mother. For what? Birthday. Bullshit. What a hell. So what's his name? We never go out anymore. Yeah, some of us have to work. <laughs> all you do is sit around and smoke all day. Look, I'm making deals. Oh yeah? How long has it been since the last one? Look, it'll happen, okay? It just takes a little patience. I'm getting tired of waiting. Well, some of us can't get by on just our looks, you know? There's more to me than that. Yeah, I can think of a couple of things. Well, I won't hold them against you. So you're not going to tell me what you've been doing? No. Where are you going? Out. What for? To have fun. With who? Friends. You don't have any friends!
see, what a woman wants is a dog. A dog? Yeah, something she can take care of and show to guests, give a bath when it gets dirty. Fetch sticks when she calls? Yeah, when she wants to play with the dog, it's okay, and when she doesn't, it needs to sleep quietly at the foot of the bed. Okay, so how exactly does this apply to me? You're too smooth, man. You, you got your suit and your tie and your shoes all shiny and... Uh, to a certain extent, that's important. Well, don't you have to be housebroken? Yeah, but you gotta have some bad traits, too. I mean, leave your shirts on the floor or something. She'll think, oh, I can change that. Then you've got her. When she thinks she can train you? Yeah, then she'll clean the toilets and wash your shirts and change the sheets. And all you gotta do every so often is fix one of your faults and get another month out of her. Well, okay. Well, then what happens when she's got you turned completely into a little lap puppy? Mm dump her and revert to your old ways and start all over again. It would be cheaper than a maid. And you get room service. Alright, so if the dude's the dog, and the chick's the cat? Basically. I mean, a cat will come over and let you pet it, and then the next time it'll be a step further away. And if you pet it there, then the next time it's two steps, and so on. It's and testing your limits. Yeah, sooner or later they'll figure out how far you're willing to chase them. Well, what for? Well, uh, so they can stand at the edge and See what really makes you come closer. I mean, this look or that move, and then when they want you to do something, they know what bait to put on the trap. Well, I'd rather get carrots than a stick. Yeah, it's what they're up to. It's just their nature. I mean, you can no more fight it than teach a cat not to purr. Well, if you figure out the game they're playing, then you can play along. Yeah, you take a step in, you take a step back, and they expect it to be predictable, but instead they're guessing. It's a simple battle of wills. The stake's your soul. <laughs> True romantic, I see. <laughs> That's good. You're, you're old dewy-eyed, I'm looking for the right one thing. I mean, they think that could be me, and then you've got them. But I am looking for the right one. Sincerity works well for luring them in, too. Once you've gone to the trouble of getting a nibble, though, you might as well get as much play out of them as possible. Okay, so I run up the mileage and then trade it in for a new model. I prefer to call it catch and release. What's wrong? Why do you say that? You just seem pissier than usual. I got a raise. Congratulations. It's $20 a week. Not bad. I've been working there six months. Never once been late. And then one day they decided that's worth an extra 50 cents an hour. Stick around the whole year, they might give me a dollar. Big money. I've been thinking about quitting for a while, and then they come up and tell me the news. It's just the look on their faces. You didn't take it? I need the money more than my pride. Some days you'd rather keep it? Yeah, and then come back and there you are, and I wonder why I go through the grind. I mean, don't you ever get tired of it? Sometimes. Man, we need to go someplace warm and sit on the beach and drink margaritas and let the waves and the surf wash all the noise away. Don't you have a break coming up? You should plan something. Get out of here. It's not the same. Besides, I'll probably wake up tomorrow and not even care. Just every once in a while I wonder where I'm headed. But at this point, it doesn't even matter anymore. You could get another job if this one's getting on your nerves too much. Ah, no matter where I'd go, though, I'd just be getting on the treadmill again. Finding myself adapting and trying to become the best cog in the machine. Just another animal in the zoo. Every need taken care of. And all they do is stare out the window. No. Yeah, you tell him if he wants an extension, he can have one. Yeah, but he's gonna have to make payments. Yeah, you tell him for each day he's late, it's gonna be an inch off his dick. <laughs> yeah, and you tell him that if he's a week late again, he can't have it because he ain't got the collateral, okay? I don't what can I do you for? Heard you were the guy that uh, can move some stuff. 
It's stuff? What do you mean by stuff? You know. No, I'm afraid I don't. You have to be a little more specific. Mind? Joke? Who the hell are you? I, I heard you were the kind of guy that could that could move some stuff. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. Well, you heard wrong, right? Now, now get out of the office. What are you? Are you deaf? Did you not understand me? Is this some sort of fucking trap here? Get the fuck out before I have you beaten. Hey, hey. Please remove this gentleman out of the office. No, all right. Hey, I'm leaving. Right, Jesus Christ, goddamn little punk. Try and set me up. Who would win in a fight, Jet Li or the Predator? Ooh, tough choice. I mean, Danny plus Mel can take down Li, while Danny plus a SWAT team can beat the Predator. Let's assume that Mel and the SWAT team are pretty much equal. Well, they'd be pretty evenly matched, I'd think. Mm, who would you bet on? I'm going to go with Jet Li. How so? All right. The Predator is part badass alien and part high technology. You take the technology away, and Arnold can take him down. So the way I see it, he's going to be knocking Jet Li around, maybe like blooding his nose or something. Mostly pissing him off. Right, but eventually Jet Li's going to get his hands on one of those magic laser bullet spears and go medieval on his ass. Hmm. Okay, versus the alien. The alien. Doesn't the Predator beat the alien, though? What beats the alien is technology, whether it's spaceship engines or the gun on the Predator's shoulder. You factor that out, and Lee doesn't stand a chance. What are some quick moves going to do against an alien that lives in vacuum and spits acid? Nothing. Okay, the Terminator. Which one? The real one. Liquid metal? The first one. Hyper-alloy combat chassis with a biomechanical shell? You know it. Lee again. But Reese whacks aliens left and right, and even he can't take down the Terminator. I... The Terminator is Arnold, plus some technology. Aliens are badass, but they got no tech. Reese in the future has tech, Reese in the present doesn't. Lee's got no tech either. I admit, Conan is pretty tough. I mean, he took on a demigod and Will Chamberlain with only a sword and his bulging biceps. In the same day, even. But his weakness is speed, and that's what Lee has in spades. I mean, it wouldn't be a pretty fight. It's going to be a lot of hit and run and Lee darting around. Guerrilla warfare. And if the Terminator got hold of him for a second, it'd be over. One mistake and he's done. But when it's all on the line, Jet Li's going to rise to the challenge. Hey, what are you watching? Oh, I love this show. Look, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. When you go running around, it just... It makes me think that something's happening. Look, I'm not the one who disappears. I'm entitled to some secrets. Not from me. <sighs> Why not? Because. Look, I pay for all of this. So your money? It's not what I mean. What then? Don't put words into my mouth. Then don't say them. Look, I'm sorry, okay? I apologize. For? For caring too much. <laughs> I'm so- for being an ass. Asshole, you mean. Same difference. <laughs> Look, you wanna make some food? Why don't you go check the fridge? What do we got? How about some margarine? With paprika? Mmm, paprika. I don't see why you can't cook anything every once in a while. You know I don't cook. Yeah, I forgot. It's been a while. For me, anyways. What's that supposed to mean? Look, should we just order a pizza? Did you make your deal? What deal? That guy you went to see. Yeah, maybe. Tell me! Yeah, yeah I did. Yes, I did. Is it any good? Is it be enough to keep things going for a while? Well then let's celebrate! You wanna do dinner? Beat sitting around here. Where should we go? Some place we haven't been in a while. Like where? Just not the usual joints. How about Dorsey's? That would be nice. Yeah, it would. What should I wear? I don't care. It's not even that. The guy was sick the other day, so I covered for him. A good deed. Thanks. Now he's going to figure out how to get off next week. And I'll end up doing his shift again. 
And I don't want it. Fair enough. It just seems that anybody I help always tries to push it for more. And if somebody doesn't get to walk over you, they decide to be an enemy. They want you to play their game. It's not that they're bad people. It's just the way they are. You don't get mad at a coyote for howling at the moon. So, no sense in stopping a backstabber? Take a pack of dogs. There will be a leader. You add a new one, and he'll have to fight for his place in the order. Every animal knows the unwritten law. But seeing the pattern, doesn't that mean you can break it? The only way to be free of the nonsense is to be outside of it all. But then you're always alone, wandering from place to place, unknown, unwanted. No connections, no problems. Nothing means anything. You just sit around, watching the days pass by. It looks empty from here. All paths lead to the same place. The only difference is which one you take. I suppose there are more important things than money. Well, somebody's got to pay the piper. Can't live off good intentions and holding doors open for little old ladies. Can't eat that. Maybe the old ladies. Yeah, but cooking them's a pain. Want to get some alcohol? Do you even know what this was about? Boss just said to come over quick. Yeah, I know how he gets. What do you think this guy was after? That wasn't worth it. That's the truth. Well, where's that shovel at? It's, uh... Oh, well that puts a damper on things, doesn't it? This is not my fault. Let me get this straight. I listen to your blather while we drive an hour into the country, and you still forget the equipment? I... I... I what? I fucked up? <sighs> but I, you... I am not listening to this. Screw you. Screw me? I'm not the dude who screwed up. Ignorant redneck? I'm always covering for your ass. Don't call me a redneck. I'll call you whatever I damn well please. You're better than that. I'm better than what? Using stereotypes. You throw them around all the time. Mine are non-cultural. What? Crazy women drivers, dumb blondes, horny old people, timeless archetypes. Oh, like drunken Irishmen? Exactly. Inebriated bog trotters. If you're going to insult me, use a neutral term like hillbilly. What's the difference? Rednecks are white trash that fly rebel flags outside of their mobile homes. Hillbillies are people perhaps out of touch with modern society with a strong trait of self-sufficiency. All right. You're not a stupid redneck. You're a stupid hillbilly. Point taken. And this situation? I forgot to check the car as a result of years of collective inbreeding. And to rectify the situation, we shall go buy a shovel. And just how does that demonstrate self-reliance, hillbilly? I will, big, I will dig the hole to atone for my sins. Fine. I'll drive. Did you see that? Yeah. The kitty cat? Yes. So aren't you going to stop? I'm not the one who threw it out. But we saw it. Yeah, and? So don't we have to do something? Like what? Like pick it up. And then? Keep it. <laughs> Why is that funny? Have you ever had a pet before? But I can learn. The thing would be dead in a week. Well, we could take it to the pound. You know what they do to animals there? Do you think that I don't know how to take care of it? Are you serious? Fine. If you're gonna complain, let's just go get the damn thing. It's right up here. I know where the spot is. Here, kitty kitty. What? You want it, you find it. Here, kitty kitty.
Here, kitty, kitty. Kitty, kitty! Look, it's gone. Here, kitty, kitty! Look, more than likely if we found it and took it to the shelter, they'd just kill it anyway. You really don't care about anybody other than yourself, do you? Look, it's a cold, hard world, babe. And I didn't make it that way. White, white, red, white, white, black. What's that? The houses. The only thing different is the color of the front door. Surely there's got to be more than that. It's like someone took a blade and smoothed it all out. No mountains, no trees, no rivers, just flat. People gotta live somewhere. Hell, if I had the means, I'd probably want to live here too. It just seems like everywhere anymore. Identical cars, same people, same houses. A cancer of order creeping across the land. Who wants to be different? I could be in a different city, have the exact same job, exact apartment, go to the same places to eat. We're robots? <laughs> Not really, but go here, go there, do some of this, do some of that, go somewhere else. All to make me feel special and unique. But I just, I can't shake this feeling that somewhere a hundred miles away, there's this guy whose motions match mine. You'd rather go back to the way it was? Hell no. Things are better than ever right now. But as the doors blur by, I just, I find myself changing to try to fit in. Even a rat in a maze has his choice exits. Free will. And yet the answer is predetermined. Get the cheese if you do what they say. It's just easier to keep on going and do the things the way they are than try to change. But it, hasn't it been that way since the dawn of time? Things are just too institutionalized now. Fighting the man? Just another catchy slogan. Kids seem to be into it. I mean, that ought to move at least another few thousand units. Hey, double that if we can find an angry old man to complain. I guess we just gotta hire one. So, did you catch the game? I don't watch soccer. Well, why not? I can't stand a game that outlaws the fast break. What? You take the ball, a guy runs down the field, you get it to him, he scores. Standard practice in basketball. In, in football, the problem is getting open. Hell, even in baseball, you can steal bases. Alright, so what's the deal with soccer? A guy runs down the field by himself in soccer, he's off sides. So instead, everyone wanders to midfield and there's these boring passing attempts to get around the defender. What, he didn't go fast enough for him? Yeah, his arguments were slowing down the casual game, but guys at the pro level are way beyond being able to claim to run too much. So ditch the rule. Well, that would alter the balance. Yeah, you like that? Here's my next one. Had a shot clock. Blast for me! <laughs> it's a little fast in professional basketball and encourages throwing it up. I'm not going to go overboard, say three minutes. It's a decent amount of time, at least. What it destroys is playing keep away. I mean, you remember the four corners nonsense in basketball? That's modern soccer. Well, what about hockey? What about it? Well, they have offsides, too. Yeah, but at least they acknowledge it as a limitation. I mean, you get a guy in the box, no penalty for your side. If that's not an endorsement for the fast break, I don't know what is. All you're doing is asking to speed it up. I mean, can't you like something for what it is? Are you going to add a double lightning round to boxing? It's a game. A set of rules to produce an outcome. Why do we do it a certain way? Tradition. Fuck that. The structure encourages a certain style of play. As long as it stays the same, so will the players. What do they have to do with this? The nature of the game determines who's good at it. I mean, basketball favors tall guys. Football, the big dudes. And soccer, all the little ones left over. There's exceptions. Sure, but a little guy is always going to be fighting uphill in basketball, and a tall guy is going to be too slow for football, and some big guy is going to get winded running up and down a soccer field for an hour. Yeah, I guess. I don't mind preferring one sport to another, but pretending there's some idealized set of rules that's better than all the others and beyond reproach, it's bullshit. Yeah, well, they're not going to change it. Why not? All right, if Americans started caring about soccer, then in ten years they'd get serious and start kicking everybody's ass then the rest of the world would have to find some other pastime that they say is better than everything else. Right. And what's that going to be? Cricket.
Can you eat that? It's too much for me. Do you want it? No, I'm good. You sure? Yeah. <laughs> Look, I said I don't want the damn thing. Fine, I was just trying to be nice. I'm not hungry. Do you enjoy this? What? Eating, talking together. It's all right, I guess. Better than sitting at home? Sometimes. You'd rather watch TV. Depends on what's on. So I'm more important to you than reruns, but not as much as the big game. Look, that only comes on once a year. And I'm usually not interested in the teams anyway. But if it was on every day, you'd rather it than me. But it's not. But if it was. Look, it just seems that we go out a lot, that's all, okay? What's wrong with that? Well, can't you grill a steak or something? I don't do dishes. Just be less expensive, I guess. So you'd rather have me to cheaper price? Oh, don't start. Start what? You know what? No, I don't. Are we so boring that we have to fight in order to have something to do? Is it the only way to say what we mean? Why are you the only one that gets to ask questions and I don't? I just want to know what we have here. Fine, say... Say I won the lottery. Would you want to get married? I guess. And if I didn't? Exactly. Exactly what? Exactly my point. That? That you're no different than I am. So the only way you'd marry me is if you won the lottery? <sighs> Needed some toothpaste, so I went to the store. You get the green stuff? I've tried the other kinds. None of them taste right. And I also realized I was going to run out of shampoo. So I went down the aisle for a bottle. You get the same brand? Nah. Those the blue gunk is better. I ended up standing there looking at them. Just one in each hand? I decided it was silly to go to the store every couple months. So I went back and got two more of each. But do you use them at the same rate? Exactly. The shampoo goes faster. So I went and put one of the tubes back. And so? And nothing. Just had one of those weird moments where you catch a glimpse of yourself doing something. You want to know what the man in the mirror is doing when you're turned around? Just wondering if he thinks I've become conservative. So are you going to start yelling at the kids to get off the front yard? Bugs me that I've figured this out for the next half a year. Nothing wrong with being prepared. I'm just tired of trying to figure these things out. You know, I'm always trying to make the right move so I'm not repeating myself. Are you getting better with time? I remember how fast I was once. Slower now. Just better at hiding it, that's all. Yeah, tricky usually beats good anyway. Not always. I feel my routine deepening and becoming a rut. This could be my last chance to break free. Yeah, it could just be more of a groove. This isn't where I saw myself in five years. If something doesn't change, it could be here in another decade. That scares me more than anything. Man, I think you're overthinking your toiletry purchases just a bit. Yeah, that toothpaste is still the best. Anybody who says otherwise is a damn fool. <laughs> Fine, let's talk. Where did you go this morning? <laughs> God. It's not that. Then what? I can't tell you. You expect me to be truthful and honest and all that jazz? And you can't even answer a simple question? How am I supposed to answer yours? I guess you just have to trust me. <laughs> I don't trust nobody. Not even yourself? Especially not myself. Some broad comes by and shows him the goods, that dumb son of a bitch sell his soul to get a squeeze. So that's all I am? What? Just another piece. You're the one who disappears once a month to God knows where, come back with all these pointed questions. I say the wrong thing and all of a sudden you're the outraged victim. This time is different. You've said that before. I know, but this time I mean it. And that too. So here we sit. Over and over again. Fine. One question? Shoot. Did you really get that deal? 
Yeah. <laughs> I've been around long enough to know when you're lying. Bullshit. Your left eye twitches. Does not. So what are we doing here then? Because it's what you want. What, what I want or what you think I want. Is there a difference? Of course. <laughs> Women only want one thing. Oh yeah, what's that? Balls on a platter. <laughs> oh, that's right. I forgot. All every single woman in the universe thinks about all day is your dick or your money. Oh, so now you're thinking? You better stick to what you're good at. Well, we can't all be geniuses like yourself. Are you saying I'm not smart? If you were, we wouldn't be having these problems. You'd think with the money I spent on you, I'd get a better return on my investment. Excuse me? Would you be dating me if I was broke? You really think that's why I'm here? I haven't seen any evidence to the contrary. Well, sweetie, I'd have to be pretty dumb to stick around for your money. Men don't look at you for your well-rounded mind, babe. I'm leaving. Good idea. This place is starting to bore me anyway. You know, I've decided that I'm only going to eat natural foods from now on, like water. That's, we've been drinking water since the dawn of time, okay? But not ice. Not natural. Ancient man didn't sit around drinking lemonade on summer days. So what? Like, nuts and berries? I got no problem with plants. Or with protein. You take a 16-ounce steak, okay? A pound of beef. You could eat that every day for the rest of your life and not have any problems whatsoever. Yeah, but you're gonna get sick of it! Whatever, but if you ate a pound of sugar a day... There's no doubt in my mind which is going to cause problems, but what are people afraid of? Yeah, everyone knows that meat is going to cause you problems later. We've been eating animals for thousands of years, and now they want to replace them with fried starch and corn syrup? So what are you going to do when you get scurvy? I'm... Drink orange juice. That's not natural! What do you mean? Alright, orange juice. You take the orange, you grind them up, you take off the pulp, and you serve what's left, the sugar water. All the good parts they throw away. I'll chug a vitamin, then. That's not natural, either! Some machine in a factory crapped that out! What would you do, smarty pants? Fried liver. God damn! You know what goes into those birds? Yeah. Shit! And that's what you're eating! Yeah, look, it's not any weirder than the first guy who decided to start sucking on cow titties. <sighs> it's like bologna. Like, they take all the parts of the cow nobody wants and grinds them up together. You think there's no insects that get in the orange juice grinder? I like apple juice. Yeah, well then drink it then. It's not natural. Nothing is. Apples don't exist in the real world. What you buy in the store is the result of thousands of years of mucking around with nature. Which makes them taste good. Yes! But drawing a line in the sand and saying everything on this side is good and everything on that side is bad is it's just going to lead to ruin. I mean, like something for what it is, not for some half-baked rationalization you came up with. Well, then I might have to think for myself. <sighs> yeah, scary, ain't it? Fine, I'm the bad guy. I'm at the end of my rope and you're gonna run off again because I'm nothing. And then you're the one who gets upset when I say these things. Well, how else are you gonna change your mind if I don't? That's what I thought. You know, I was at Wally World the other day. I saw this guy. The girls he had with him were pretty rough. Yeah, but he had two of them, right? No doubt. And I was thinking we should do the same thing. I mean, two fives are less work than one nine. In what way? Well, ten's not so much a measure of beauty as it is rarity. I mean, for every ten, say, you have a dozen nines. And for every nine, a dozen eights. For every eight, uh... Yeah, what's the point? If you're gonna go for the very top, you're gonna have to fight out everybody else to get there. She knows that. Well, so you're gonna have to pay. Through the nose. But, give me a couple of solid, dependable fives. Not sixes, but not fours either. Yeah, I know the type. Average. And here's the thing. There's a lot of girls ahead of them. They know the score. All you gotta do is find a couple of them that can stand each other. And that's the end of it? Well, if they get out of hand, you kick them to the curb. You know that, they know that, so there's no drama. Yeah, perhaps. Perhaps. Yeah, triangles are not a stable structure. I mean, it'd be alright if they're always fighting each other, but they're women. Eventually, they're gonna put aside their differences and team up on you. And then you're screwed, and not in a good way. There's no way to fight a herd of females shy of picking them off one at a time. 
Yeah, so there's plenty of fives out there, but finding the two that aren't going to cause trouble together is harder than it seems. And then you're back to the original problem. Except now there's four hands on your cojones. Yeah, and they're going to squeeze. It's feminine in nature. All right, new angle. Um, Indian or Asian? Chinese. Why? Well, there's nothing better than a good plate of shrimp fried rice. If I had a hot little mom at home making that for me every day, mm -mm. you're not you're not saying which one is better. I'm not. I mean, okay. Eventually, you're gonna have to do something besides sleep together. She doesn't have to be a PhD, but there's got to be a little something there. What does this have to do with food? Okay. If you can't spend some quiet evenings at home together, eventually you're just gonna drive each other nuts. I mean, take a woman who's maybe not the sweetest smelling rose, but she cooks, she cleans. Turn down the lights, turn up the music, go to town. Gotta eat every day, don't gotta fuck. Exactly. I'm asking which catches your eye. And I'm saying it's a little bit more complicated than that. All you've got is a fantasy list. Avoiding the question. Okay, fine. I want the nine. But I give points for cooking and manners and erudition and things you don't even think about. Blah, 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 blah. blah. Give me the fives. See that one up there? Yeah. That's Mars. Think we'll ever go there? Someday. People will go, take a few pictures. They don't really want to travel though. Just want to show off to their friends. Outer space tourism. It's a sad thing what got us off this rock in the first place. Just trying to keep in line the foreigners. Same thing, they explored the globe. There's no place to explore anymore. People just sit around, try to escape reality. You think there's anything worth finding? Probably. People always forget how spread out everything is up there. A lot of empty space. You know, I used to look up, and just see all the points of light. Now all I can focus on is the dark. Yeah, but, I mean, what if? A million years from now, it won't matter. Same sun, same stars, shining down on the same earth. Maybe by then, cockroaches will have taken over. They'll be sitting around, looking up at the sky, asking each other these same questions. Some guys, Killed some other guys right here. Then some new guys came and killed the old ones. Their voice is all quiet now. Buried with the bodies. Dust into dust. Ashes to ashes. I figure it's a good thing. We don't really know who's pulling the strings, eh? But if none of it matters, aren't we free? 
We're not really free. Not free from each other. We still gotta breathe. Still gotta eat. Everybody has to play the game. Some people won't ever risk anything. Others will piss it all away. But in the end, house will always win. So best to take what you want rather than spend your life wishing you had. It's a dangerous thing, rationalization. How's it going? It's all right. Nice weather, no? Yeah, it's pleasant. So... So do they have a shovel? They have an extensive gardening selection. And? And I seem to have misplaced my wallet. Damn it. Ten dollars do it. Make it twenty. Got it? Let me call you back in a bit. Fuck. 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 Hello? Yeah, this is he. Yeah, I remember you. you Want to talk? About what? All right, I'll be there in a few. Baby, I did it. I got the money. You don't have to leave. I made my deal. You don't have to go. Doesn't matter. Why not? Because if I stayed for your money, then I'd be your whore. There are a dozen others just like you. Good luck finding them. So Tom or Jerry? Jerry. See, that's what everybody says, but I got a soft spot for Tom. Yeah, I saw this one where he's getting out some lemonade and he's setting up a hammock. He's gonna read a magazine. He's just minding his own business. Enter Jerry. Who's intent on destroying the peace, and it all escalates from there. Of course. So Tom ends up fanning both Spike and Jerry while they drink his lemonade, read his magazine, in his hammock. Tom's just standing there wondering what the hell happened as they're beating him over the head. It sucks. And then it hit me. What? Jerry is the instigator. Tom leaves him alone. He doesn't even really bother him. Sure, if he gets yelled at, he's gonna make a show of chasing the mouse. But he doesn't cause the problems. That damn mouse has some sort of psychological disorder that causes him to wreck havoc. So who's the greatest of them all? Well, first I gotta state my biases. I don't like people who talk, so that rules out Daffy Duck and company. Even Bugs? Especially Bugs. That guy's such a poser. He's cool. Oh, he is that guy. The one with the good looks, model girlfriend who's rich, perfect life. Compared to... Porky has a stutter and an eating disorder. Daffy has a lisp. They're real. Okay, who's the best? Alright. Wild E. Coyote. Dude never says a word. His plans blow up in his face, but he shrugs them right off and he goes back to the lab. Never gonna give up, huh? He keeps trying no matter how foolish it is. It's the principle of the thing. I mean... <laughs> He's doomed to fail, but this time, this time just might be the time he gets lucky. He never complains. Wasn't there one, though, where he talks to the kids? Didn't happen. Figment of your imagination. Lies perpetuated by the machine. They try to make him like a rabbit, but when it's just him and the bird, words ruin it. The best action doesn't need translation.
You really want me to get that job? Are you interested? Not really, but I'll give it a try. I mean, you do so much for me, and I never return the favor. I'm just not cut out for the real world. Nobody is. But you get up every morning. I've tried a dozen times. Someone says something wrong, I punch him in the face, back out on the street again. You know, violence isn't the solution to everything. It's what I'm good at. Well, in video games and cartoons and other stupid shit. I guess I can branch out. I ain't making no promises though. You know that thing you're talking about tomorrow? What, that? Let's do it. Really? I don't give a shit anymore. I mean, fuck them, they're bad people anyway. It's a hard reason to die. It's your call then. But don't let me stand in your way. This ain't like deciding where to go eat. I know. You just get to a certain point and you realize that's all there's gonna be. And I want something more. I mean, I can learn to cope without and smile and pretend it doesn't matter. But I don't want it. I got a chance to break the wheel. It's not something good. I'm not a good man. If the shoe was on the other foot, they'd be doing the same thing to me. I just don't care anymore. I mean, no more bad food and alarm clocks in the morning. That's all I'm after. Hey, remember the thing we were talking about yesterday? Hello! Hello! Come on in! Hey! Hey, I'm sorry about snapping at you the other day, you know. I've been a little paranoid lately thinking everybody's out to get me. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, like, have a seat, man. So, uh, you're serious about the stuff. You, uh, you still got it? Well, it's not really me that's got it. It's, uh, it's a guy I know. But, uh, Who's willing to do it today? Today, huh? Yeah. How much, uh, how much does he want for it? He said, uh, 75? 75? That's very reasonable. How much do you want? You know, your take, finder's fee, whatever. I was thinking, uh, 10? You know, for setting it up and all. Ten? Wow. Oh. That's quite a bit. You got yourself a deal. There you go. So, uh... Thinking calm right now? I think I can do that. Hey man. Yeah, it's me. Yeah, they're in. 75. Where? Bridge. 9 o'clock. 9 o'clock at the bridge? Alright man, I'll see you there. Later. So, uh, <laughs> that's it. We're set up. Good to go. Great. Drive a hard bargain. Let me reward you. God damn little punk. You call up a friend of the company, find out where that last phone call was made to, then get Jack 
and get Petey over here and dispose of this little piece of shit. And then take care of those other fuckers too, all right? Nobody steals from me. Nobody steals from me. Yeah? All right, when? Where? All right, we'll take care of it. What'd he say? All right, well, we... Dig! Yes, mess. Last request. It's all right. Do it. <laughs> 